The Holy Family went to Sharkeya government, entered Talbasta on Pashan's 24th. It is considered one of the capitals of ancient Egypt. The city has a temple that historians Herodotus described in 450 BC as the most beautiful temple in Egypt. In the 4th century AD, Pope Theophilus, the 23rd Patriarch, pointed out that the Holy Family visited Talbasta area. In Talbasta, there is an open museum that holds statues from different areas, originating from the ancient state from the reign of King Khufu, who started building this temple. Seven stones were discovered there, with a canopic statement of King Ptolemy II engraved on them. Because of this, the ancient Egyptian Demotic language was discovered during the French campaign. Among the most important pieces are the statue of Merit Amun, the statue of Ramses VI, and parts of images of the god Hathor, including crowns and pillars. There is also a museum containing statues of the goddess Bastit, which is in the shape of a lamb-like cat. The cat is considered the special deity of the region, so a variety of cat statues were shown including bronze, stone ones, with a variety of sizes and colors. Three churches were built in Talbasta around that temple. Our Lady, the Virgin Church, Archangel Michael Church, and St. Anthony Church. There are currently around the temple, they are the ultimate in beauty in terms of architecture and artistic prints. In the 7th century AD, Amb Zacharias, Bishop of Saka City, mentioned that the Holy Family at the time they entered Talbasta, the child Jesus thirsted. They went around seeking water from the people of the city, but no one answered them. So the Holy Family did not stay there long because they did not find welcome, because the idols of that country had fallen and were broken when the Holy Family passed by. The townspeople were upset and expelled them, so they headed south until they reached the town of Mustorot, 